What's up y'all, this is Big Switch from Banish Forecast here and today I'm going to show y'all a little something about Marincess. So this is a archetype, basically a water salad in a way. Uh, we got Blue Tang being your main starter. Um, the whole idea of the deck is to recur resources over and over and over. Just get your resources a going and a going. This is a little mock deck I made. This is a pure variant. Uh, Frogs is probably one of the more consistent variants for sure. But um, I don't know. This is just something I threw together for just for the video kind of thing. Uh, feel free to build it however you want. Now bear in mind this is not exactly a budget deck at the moment. So buyers beware. But um, Blue Tang on normal summon it's Gazelle. On Link it's uh, Foxy. So um, what you use this guy to do basically send this boy so this card is the focal point of the entire deck uh, seahorse basically is full combo semi full combo if you have Marincess and Mandarin you do have full combo so um, I'm just gonna load up a little bit of something something get y'all checking this thing out all right so here we have the bread and butter combo okay this is the seahorse combo very very standard any hand trap uh, disrupts this bear in mind so what you'll do you'll no normal summon that boy link it off for the link one blue slug and the blue slug's effect to add back the seahorse bang bang you'll then use seahorse's first effect to special summon itself in the hand to a marincess link monster zone being blue slug we'll then send this boy off for a sea angel <clears throat> we, will <clears throat> we will then use sea angel's effect to search any marincess spell currently the only marincess spell would be battle ocean uh we can go ahead and activate this one if you want. it doesn't ultimately matter at this point uh we'll link these two boys off for the coral anemone use his effect to special summon the seahorse we will then go one, two, link these three off for the marbled rock. Now there's some chains happening here. We're gonna go chain one, battle ocean, chain two, anemone. The reason we're doing that is ogre. I don't know, you might as well. Because this is the most important card in the deck. Right now it doesn't ultimately matter too, too much, but it still matters a decent amount. So, um,. Chain Link 1, Battle Ocean 2, Anemone. Anemone, whenever it's sent to Grave, adds back any Marincess card, so we'll add this back to hand. Then Chain 1, Battle Ocean, you can equip extra deck, or I think Link Monsters? Yeah. Marincess Link Monsters to the uh, extra monster zone Marincess card on Summon. Uh, and it gains 600 for each, and all Marincesses gain 200, so that means. Uh, 666, six, six, that is 18, plus 200, that's plus 2,000, so that's 4,500 attack. Uh, and if you'll notice, if you look at your hand, it's the exact same as what you left off on. Now you see the resource game I was talking about. All that, 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 one card. So that that's a good idea of what, what, I'm, what I'm talking about. Okay. Show you a new one now. So now we're going to do the full, full combo, okay? And what that means is you have Seahorse and the Mandarin. Bear in mind, if you have Sinet Mining and Mandarin, if you have Seahorse and Blue Tang, any two Marincess cards with different names, literally, the Sinet Mining being a, Mar a Marincess card, any two Marincess cards with different names does equal full, full combo because your uh, Blue Slug will send whatever you're looking for. So what we'll start out with, is normal summon pretty similar to what we did last time pretty pretty similar that effect i'm gonna go a little bit quicker this time special summon this girl send her off this is where things are different for special summoning sea angel and let's read mandarin real quick if you control two or more marincess monsters while this card is in your hand or graveyard you can target one water link monster you control special summon this card to your zone that monster points to, but Banish it when it leaves the field. This is essentially spinny. So we'll pop that boy down there, because since we control two, and we have a link zone. 
We'll then go ahead and use what's her face his effect. Got to do that, lol. Get that boy up. Go ahead and activate his connect right. right uh, then link off the two links for anemone. Get back our seahorse. And now use those two boys for a crystal heart. What does this card do? Some battle protection. Pretty bad, right? Wrong. Battle Ocean turns all Link monster. Well, all. Let's find out. Monsters you control in the extra monster zone that were Link summoned using Morenses Crystal Heart as material are unaffected by your opponent's card effects. You know what that means? You got an Abramax somehow out using that. Boom. Ultimate Falcon Abramax. Insane. Insane. <clears throat> Anywho. What we'll be doing is sending these two boys off for, that's right, the big house wonder heart. We're gonna do the same chains, chain one, chain two. So we'll add this back as chain two. And we'll equip you, you, and you. These are the three that I prefer personally because this has a higher attack than Sea Angel, so 1500, 1700 with the field spell. This, I believe, is a, a battle uh, slash attack negator, so it might as well. This one is your monster reborn. Why do their effects matter? Because when Wonderheart attacks or is attacked with a special summon monster, I believe? Just a monster? Yeah. Anyway, you special summon any of your equips. So what you can do is swing. Uh, this is during damage steps, so we do lose the attack, because again, again, 600 for each equipped. But uh, you swing, effect, move that boy up. In main phase two, say next turn, you can then proceed to use that to special summon this, and then you can normal summon. Oh, you get it. You get the idea. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that that's the basic idea of the deck. Um, pretty easy, honestly. Very very linear. That is one uh, downside of this deck. It is very fun though, although linear. I'm gonna do a quick test hand. Um, like I said, this is full, 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 full wombo. Uh, we'll get to use blue tang here as well. Here we go, normal summon effect. We'll get our mandarin to grave. Awesome, awesome. Uh, we'll then go blue slug, uh, chain one, chain two to protect from gamma, I guess. Uh, so chain two, blue tang, excavate three. So one, two, three. And we got a final, or a battle ocean, okay. I mean, plus in us, plus in us, I suppose. Then uh, chain one to add back the blue tank. We will then proceed to special summon that boy. Go into the sea angel, even though we already have Princess Battle Ocean. We're doing that again, so we have the zone. Link these two off for the anemone. Anemone effect, special summon. We will send you and you for the crystal heart. Activate the field spell. Send, send for the link four. Chain one, battle ocean, chain two, anemone to add back this boy. And we will equip our boys. One, two, three. So what does that leave us with? God. This is a godly opening because what that means is, again, this has 4,400 attack, immune by, um, yeah, immune from everything. We had a call by the grave just in case for that whole time. Got an imperm for their turn and an ash for their turn. Now what else that means? This boy. Okay, 4400 Ultimate Falcon. Pretty good, right? Okay. What makes it even better is, like I said, you can special summon when it's attacked or attacks, but monsters you control are not destroyed by that uh, battle, and you take no battle damage. So basically, got this has got three Utopias on field, just negate, 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 kind of thing. Or Utopia with three attachments, rather. You get it. But, um,. Now, had we have searched this boy off of Blue Tang, that would have been insane. Because 
This is another huge part of the deck, that's why you run this at 3. <clears throat> if you control a Marinthus Sling monster, target one face-up monster your opponent controls, negate that face-up monster's effects until the end of this turn. Not bad, right? But if you control a Link 2 or higher Marinthus monster, all face-up monsters you currently control are unaffected by your opponent's card effects until the end of the turn. So if they deal with the field spell, that's fine. Guess what? Bitch. Trap. Jeej. And um, even better than that, if, hypothetically, you control Link 3 or higher Marinthus monster, you can activate this card from your hand. Stupid. Stupid. So what that means is you can have these two boys set. Got these two boys set. That in hand. You'll just pop that guy off. Then, boom. You know what I'm saying? Super good. Super fun deck. I um, <clears throat> do enjoy playing this. It's very, very resilient. Very consistent. You have a good amount of cards you can open that'll put you in the game. Let's see here. Boom. Full combo. <laughs> but um, like I said, the Frog is definitely the uh, better version. That's full. That's full full combo. That's combo with the Marincess Wave. That's full combo. It's full combo. It's full combo. It's full 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 combo. Do one more just to just to see full combo and the really cool part about this by the way I'm, I'm actually gonna run through this real quick It'll be the last one because there's something significant remember five cards in hand discard more incest wave right right so we're gonna add this blue thing for maximizing of the pluses RNG and whatnot. We'll use his effect to send the seahorse. Boom. We'll go ahead and link this boy off for the blue slug. Go one, two. Excavate one, two, three. Got another blue tang. I'll take it. And then we will add the seahorse. So again, I started with five cards, remember that. Special in defense, link you off. For the CEO Angel, his effect to add you. And we do not have uh, the Mandarin, so you don't have to worry about that whole part. Go ahead and Anemone. Activate the full spell. Nemony effect. Special summon you. Go one, two. For the field spell effect. For Marbled Rock. Haven't showed you this guy yet. That's, I mean, really. You know, um, you know it's the same old deal. Chain one, chain two. Anemone add back Seahorse. Then special, or uh, equip. One, two, three bang now five cards in hand but wait there's more marbled rock effect add back any marincess card meaning that's now our hand significantly better than before so we got that like i said we got that in perm that makes us even more ultimate falcons well no yeah we're currently not ultimate falcons but this saves us we accurate it from hand ultimate falcon so good but yeah, guys, that's the basic idea of Marincess. Um, I, I do enjoy this deck. Uh, the, the the price wall is definitely there. Co money at its finest. Love you, Konami. But um, yeah, tell me what y'all think in the comments. I uh, think it'll be good. We haven't really seen much success yet with it, but we'll see. Is it water salad? Does it live up to the name? Y'all be the judge. Anyway. I have been Big Switch. Y'all have been amazing. Thank y'all so much for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment below, say Frog the Jam, Porn Stars, hate him, learn his secret by clicking here, and then include a link to uh, Subway's website. Peace the fuck out.